Greetings, and thanks for joining me once again for my weekly Journeys and Insights update. I trust you have seen our communication of last week regarding the very good news that we are finally in a position to begin coming back together, given the increasing number of us who have been vaccinated and based on the guidelines of the New York Department of Health and our local health officials. As of this weekend, I have formally ended the dispensation from the obligation to attend Sunday Mass and other holy days of obligation. Because our parishes are not in a position to verify each and every parishioner's vaccination status, it is still necessary to wear face masks upon entering and exiting your church, and also to continue to observe social distancing guidelines. As we have maintained all along, it is a reflection of our Christian care and concern for others that we must adhere to the precautions that experts assure us are the best protection against the infection of the coronavirus, especially those most vulnerable. Like all of you, I have increasing confidence that we will soon be able to resume our interactions without fear given the steady decline of COVID cases in our region. Our pastors and parish administrators are preparing to now accommodate an increasing number of parishioners returning to Mass and parish life. I ask for your support for them and for your patience as they work through the many considerations. This coming weekend, I'm so delighted to be able to ordain four new priests for our diocese at our cathedral, Charles Johnson, Michael Johnson, Ryan Keating, and Daniel Richard Ulmer. I encourage you to join our celebration at 10 a.m. via a live stream broadcast that will be available at our diocesan homepage. The limited number of tickets to attend the ordination have now been claimed by family and friends of our new ordinandis. But participation in our ordination celebration online from wherever you are would be greatly appreciated. As we prepare to celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ this weekend, please remember these four men who have answered the call to preside at the table of the Lord and who will now commit their talents, energies, and their own pursuit of holiness in service to others. May the Lord who has brought them to this moment bless their ministry, sustain them in faithful witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ, and enrich their lives with the friendship and support of many throughout their priesthood. The readings of this Sunday remind us of the new and everlasting covenant that Jesus Christ has brought about through his sacrifice and obedience to the Father's will. It is this covenant, this sacred promise of God himself, that we celebrate each and every time we gather at the table of the Lord in celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Important to remember is that it is not the priest alone who celebrates at the sacred liturgy, but all who gather in his name and recall the Lord's passion and death and recommit to his living truth constantly in memory of him. Let us embrace with joy our ability to come together more fully after so long an absence from one another and from the liturgy that defines us as disciples of Jesus and as a family of faith. Thank you for your prayers and for all that you do to manifest God's love in your families, your workplaces, your parishes and community. May the Lord who is ever present among us, and most especially in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, watch over and keep you and all those whom you love safe. I look forward to speaking again with you very soon.